everyone and welcome to Plan and Save in Essex. My name is Kirsty and I'm sharing with you on my channel, my daily planners and saving journey to help this mum stay organized and focus on her 2024 goals. How are you all? I hope you're all doing okay. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I have a very exciting video to share with you today. And it is my very first cash stuffing and striker's about to bark of a part of a reallocation from my Sudoku Roll uh, Savings Challenge. Also, if you stay um, to the end, well, once I've done the cash stuffing, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be sharing with you some amazing Happy Mail that I've picked up. So, without further ado, you know what to do, guys. Go and grab your favorite drink, your snacks, and all that jazz, and let's have some fun with finances. <music> So if you watched my last video, you'd know that I kind of discussed that I was going to reallocate a third of the Sudoku roll, which is £135, and that's what I've got here. Um, and yeah, I've changed to over to cash uh, to give it a go uh, and everything. So yeah, I... I've already worked out where all of this, where this 135 pounds is going. Um, so let's have a count, uh, get it in the binders, and then we can have a look at some happy mail. So um, I like to, I'm weird, I like to count it this way and then put it back the other way. <laughs> it's weird. Um, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 130, 20. That's wrong. <laughs> so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 20, 35. So 135 to put into um, the binders. I feel like I've got a lot of space, so let's just move the binders back a little bit. Right, so first place I'm going to go to is the 500 uh, fund, say a challenge, I, I class it as a sinking fund. <laughs> uh, but this um, is for Harriet's year six uh, trip. And I do have some still in the bank. So I've got 30 pounds in the bank. Um, and we are adding to this today 40 pounds into here. And I've got none of my pens. Uh, bear with me a second. Okay, there was me thinking I was actually organized for once and I, weren't, I wasn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're adding... Um, 40 into this today so I'm going to do this 20 30 40 so in there at the moment as I say, I've got um, some in the bank so in cash I've got 40 in cash and then 60 70 which is really really good and that I'll carry on going but the deposit is due in june which is 50 pounds so that's great that i've managed to save oh here we go yeah so 50 pounds is due in june um so yeah i'm just gonna keep just plugging away obviously james will pay towards it as well it's just i'm just sort of trying to help out and just sort of lessen the burden um for james of having to pay like 500 pounds for a trip <laughs> so i'm just doing my best there Right, as we're in this binder, I'm going to be adding £40 in to Christmas. And uh, have I got the red? I didn't get the red out. So, um, yeah, I'm adding £40 into Christmas. Uh, I've got these cute um, trackers from Cash But Cute. And I could finish off um, this one, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. 
So yeah, 40 pounds in to Christmas. And now I don't know, no, I think I'm just gonna carry on with the with the Grinch. So these are five. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color these in quickly. Fantastic. So in Christmas now, um, I have got 20, 40, 60, 75. I mean, to be honest with you, I know there's a lot more people. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people out there that are better, better than that at this point for Christmas. But you know what? For someone who literally leaves it to like the month before to do Christmas. That's pretty good going for me. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And then the rest is going in to sinking funds, but we're still in here for the minute. Hold on a second. There's me saying, I'm thinking I was out on this binder, but I'm not. We've got, um, James is getting 10. So I did have to take some out here because I had to pay the deposit for the cake. James is getting 10. So let's do this. So each cake is five. So that's five. 10. Let's do some icing here. Here. that's getting oh that's getting 10 i think i might take this 10 out and change that for the 20 and put that back in so i think i've worked it i need to save another 35 for the cake and then it's gonna be like card and and stuff um we're putting into q and b birthday today um, and that's getting 10 and um q and b are my friend's children um let's see i'll just write their initials because um <laughs> i don't know if they want their children's names shared online so q and b um i haven't really got um i mean one of them is like mine and james's friend and one of them is just like my friend uh, <laughs> child so yeah i don't i don't quite know what i'm kind of doing yet in terms of like how much but Definitely with one of them, James will help with, with one of them. And then Father's Day is getting 10 as well. So I did keep 30 pounds in the bank, but there is 10 going into there. And I don't know what, I think I used these ones so we've got um, 10 yeah 10 there or five and then 10 this is awful awful coloring in <laughs> is this oh this is the right green I've got two greens and I wasn't sure which was what. Oh, who... Yeah, um, I know I crossed these out to not do it, but I think I'm gonna have to save. Where's my black pen gone? So yeah, I did cross these out, but I'm gonna sort of reinstate them um, on the basis of 
the the school runs like a Father's Day, Mother's Day sale. So I've got to kind of allow for that as well. Um, and yeah, so anyway. Um, so I've got 20, 30 in the bank and then another 10 makes 40. Oh. So yeah, I think, uh, what's that? 45, 50, uh, 50, 55, 60. Yeah, I think I'll do one more line and I think that will be fine. I think I'll do 60 pounds and that will be fine on that. So let's just get these bits back in here. Like so. And yeah, that is that binder done. And we are then going to move into my Kiki K one and I'm gonna give beauty a little boost today because I really need to buy some of my foundation and concealer so I'm gonna give um, beauty 10 and We'll know what I'll colour that off, off thing. <laughs> They're too intricate. Um, so in beauty, now I've got 1025. Uh, I will need to do a little bit more than that. Because I think my foundation alone is about 40 quid. The car uh, is getting 10 today. Um, so I do have car fund and car maintenance in here. So I split it between the two and I haven't got my purple. Have I got the gray? I've got the gray. So yeah, I sort of split between the two. Um, car maintenance is for things, uh, Mainly for like if I want my car washed or something. James covers the whole like MOT surface situation on the car. Um, and yeah, and car fund is I'm working towards the car insurance. So I'm just going to try and see if I can quickly find the purple. Uh, working towards the yeah the car insurance so I would like to do it if I could try and pay it off this year but we shall see so in um car just in general um we've got 20 40 I don't know like 20 40 50 65. I've got to go through all of my envelopes and sort them all out. Uh, <laughs> I keep knocking you, sorry. And then the last five pounds is going into hair, which uh, I haven't started. Created myself a new little um, tracker. And... So let's just do here for five. Brilliant. So there we go. So that is all the cash gone. And I'm really pleased that I've kind of decided to do that. Uh, for me, I'd rather reallocate that money into my sinking funds just to give them all that little bit of a boost. Everyone does things differently. Um, just for me, I, I, I would, for something like to do car roll, which is can be a bit of a slow burner, and it, even though it saves an amazing amount of 405 pounds, 
I would rather pull from it every third and put that into my funds just to give everything a little boost. So there we go. That is all the cash done. That's my reasonings <laughs> of why I do what why I've done that. So let's have a look at some happy mail. So here we go. Here is all the lovely happy mail that I have got and I'm super excited about. So first up we have from Studio Budgets. I was eyeing this up when it first got released etc um now i didn't have the funds and then i was being like oh, it's quite a big game you know if you do need like 60 quid or you know that's a lot a week or you know so do it however many times you want but for me i when i do things like this like knock out nine i'd like to do it on the weekly um but anyway i was having a bit of a low um few days uh, this is how it comes. I've ended up with all this happy mail. <laughs> Bit of a low few days, so I bought it. I bought sod it. You only live once, didn't you? Um, so, yeah, I've got loads of confetti everywhere. So, oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Six. And, uh, yeah, so, obviously, this, everyone's got, I feel like everyone's got this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, you get... The six dice. I was really um, intrigued to know what dice I'd get. But look at these. Like this, these are amazing. They go so well with with the uh, with the tracker. So yeah, super excited about this. And yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to playing this one. I won't be starting this one. I think I've got it noted down to start in April. Um, so, yeah, got a little um, one here. Save five pound for, well, it says each heart, but it's meant, obviously meant to be each animal. And it saves 30 pounds. Maybe I'll give that one to Harriet because she's gotten into um, a little bit of cash stuff in now. Bless her. Uh, up next, again, I'd seen this one a lot, and I thought this would be a good one for, like, my spending. Um, kind of thing. But this is from Save with Sophie. Again, I feel like I'm obviously very late to the game in all of these. Um, but this, this dice, coloured dice, and it's Fill the Jar. And uh, yeah, I thought, you know what? This actually be very, very good for um, my spending money. Um, so yeah, so that's what um, we've got there. Just a thank you. And then we've got Born to Budget. That's really cute. And I love this one, Coffee Date. Make time for friends and family. Save 25. Oh, I love that. That's actually a really cute freebie. Perfect. Well, we know where that one will be going in the old coffee envelope. Um, then I picked up um, Budget Gals. And this is uh, one of these is something I've designed up for ages. Absolutely ages. And then just, I just don't know what else will happen. And the rest of this just fell in the basket. So, <laughs> that's what happened um so yeah so got a little thing and a little obviously saving one there um so i'll tell you what one i was eyeing up and then i'll tell the other two you can just see that just fell into the basket but this is the one i was eyeing up wine and dine and it's a date fund uh, or a date night fund and again it's such low amounts and i thought that i could um save this up and then maybe like um you know treat uh, James and I to uh, you know pay towards a dinner out or a takeaway, whatever. I don't know how much it saves. Does it save? Oh, let's have a little. I I didn't see how much it saved. That's four, two, four, three. That's ten. That's six. That's eight. That's four. That's five. That's four. Oh, it saves fifty quid. I mean that is 
really, really good. Um, yeah, so that's what I was sort of thinking for me and James so that we can um, go out and have a meal and, uh, you know, he doesn't always have to pay for it. <laughs> oh, he doesn't mind paying. <laughs> and I don't mind him paying either. <laughs> But, you know, it's sometimes it's nice to give back to the old husband, isn't it? And then um, I saw this one, donuts about savings and colouring the donut to save 150. So, yeah, I, I just I just loved it. And I think it's a budget with bliss. She has a similar one. It's not from Budget Cash. She has an, uh, it's another one. I can't think who her one from. But her donuts are looking so cute. And when I saw this, I was just like you know what, I'm gonna get that and colour in the donuts. Um, plus as well, donuts, these sorts of donuts remind me of Ostara because she loves a ring iced donut. So yeah, maybe I'll save that up and, um, towards like her, her birthday or something. That could be a good starting point there. And then this really intrigued me and I, I haven't really seen anyone play this, who I watch anyway. And I thought, oh, you know what? This this looks a good game. So this is 21 or bust, the classic game of 21 with a, or pontoon with a twist. Turn over up to five cards with the aim of getting as close to 21 as possible. Cards are at face value with king, queen, jack equaling 10 points with an ace can be your choice of either one or 11. Stop whenever you like, but you'll have to save the difference between the number you stopped at and 21. If you stopped at 15, you'd have to save six. Hit 21 exactly and get a free pass on saving, but go bust and you'll need to save the full 21. Record the cards you pull in the space provided then write the total you reached and the amount to be saved alongside so you know and i thought this could actually be loads of fun and um if anyone has got this please let me know so i can watch you play it because i actually i haven't seen anyone i haven't seen anyone play it look at the mini cards they're just so cute i mean i'm all for shuffling cards just normally um, usually I have to get this is my this is my attempt of shuffling cards <laughs> it's not great um, so yeah we can we can see how we crack it on, get on with that and uh, yeah looking forward to playing that one I don't want to have too many big um, big ones on, like big challenges on the go um, but that just looked really fun to me. So yeah, so that's what I picked up from um, Budget Gals. Love that. And then, oh, I was just dying to get these. And um, so, so pleased I was having a low day and just bought them. So I picked up some laminated envelopes uh, from Labelle uh, on Etsy. I think it's just Labelle, isn't it? It's not Labelle UK. Uh, oh, it is, Labelle UK store. And she's Labelle.uk on Instagram. Anyway, um, I, I made an attempt to make uh, some laminated envelopes and failed miserably. They're all falling apart, etc. So I just decided to, you know what, spend the money, get some made properly uh, and everything. And you know what, um, I was looking at a few shops and LaBelle come out um, the, like, the most affordable and honestly her the quality of them is amazing so definitely definitely check out the bell uh, uk store on etsy but i picked up a food shop or oh, i have made i say i picked up i had these are all like customizable fuel savings personal spends harriet star and child allowance and uh, yeah i went for the um like 
gold marble um, effect with just black writing and I love them and cannot wait to put these in my file effects. I just think they're going to look stunning. So yeah, so that is what I picked up from LaBelle store. LaBelle UK store. There we have it guys, that is today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed the new edition of Cash on the channel, as well as showing all my happy mail. If you did, if you give it a big thumbs up, you know it means the absolute world to me when you do. And if you enjoy anything planner related, budget, saving, cash stuffing related, then please do consider subscribing. It's absolutely free to do so. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you ever so much. I hope that you are having a great day and a great week as always. And I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.